Hello there, it's Ellie here. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to set up the automated email sequence, which will go out to your email subscribers on Leadsleep. Okay, so first of all, you will obviously need a Leadsleep account if you haven't got one already. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then you will find my link directly below the video. And obviously, if you haven't already started with Leadsleep, then you will need to watch some of my other videos to find out how to actually create the email list in the first place. OK, so um, today then we're going to be adding emails into the um, the email responder or the autoresponder as it's called. So to access the correct section on Leadsleep, you need to go to List Manager, first of all. And you will see under List Manager that you have different lists if you've added different ones already. And I'm just going to use this one as the example here. So if you've just added your new list, you need to make sure that you have activated the list first of all. So you'll need to click on this little cog and it will ask you to fill in some information for the list. Once you have activated the list, then you will be able to add two different types of emails. The first one that you want to add is your welcome email. Now, to add your welcome email, you click on the single little envelope icon here. And once you click on that, you can then click on the little edit um, icon here. And this is where you will add the details of your email. So you can see here, I have already added some details to this welcome email. So we're just, you know, all you're doing is literally, imagine this, this is completely blank. You're just copying and pasting the emails that I have provided for you, which are in my affiliate marketing group. Okay, so for this one, I am just writing the title. Is this what you're looking for? And then I have copied the welcome email. This is the one that, um, as you say, like the, the box will be blank whenever you're starting. So you just copy and paste the email into the box. OK, so you will want to make sure that you have updated your Facebook profile link here. Um, you can as well, you know, include your email address or if you're using, you know, other other social media options, you can, you know, feel free to use those as well. But obviously the group that you'll be inviting people to is actually on Facebook. So the Facebook profile link is the best option to include here. OK, so once you have copied the email across, then you can just click on save changes and you will see that it's processing and it's going to give you a you know a preview of um uh it's going to give you a preview of the email that you have just saved you can close it and you should see a copy of your welcome email in this section. OK, so the next thing then that you want to do is to click on the double envelope icon. And this is where you will add, <coughs> excuse me, this is where you will add a copy of the follow up emails. To do that, you click on add new 
you will get the blank box popping up. Um, the, the day will be day one on here because I have already added some emails um, to this section. And just as you would normally write an email, you know, um, you can copy the, the emails that I have provided for you in the group, or indeed you can write your own emails if you prefer. So you're just going to write your subject line. Um, let me think, I don't even know what I'm going to write for this one yet. <laughs> um, so team building done for you is the last. Um, okay, so let's get you started. Um, today. Okay. Now, you will see here that there is this little box for enable smart greeting. You can do that on the subject line as well. And what will happen if you click on that box is that your subscriber's name will appear in the subject line. So that's always a good thing to use because it helps to identify the fact that, you know, you, you know this person already and um, it will distinguish these emails from ones that are maybe being randomly sent from email lists, for example. So, or sorry, from traffic sites which have email lists. So you can click on there just to tick the little box. I also tick the box for um, uh, the body of the email. So what am I going to write on this today? <laughs> I probably have written one already in the Facebook group. So if I go across there, let's do this as if I was copying from the group. And that way I can show you as well where to find the emails. OK, so the emails that I'm adding are under the guide section. If you click on guides and then scroll down, you will see these email um, icons. And those are the ones that I'm using for, you know, to highlight the, basically that these are the emails to use. So um let's have a look and see i don't know why it does that it's really annoying <laughs> okay so this is the email so i'm just going to copy Take it across and paste it into the box. Now, obviously, there are some sites that we are recommending in this email. So, you know, I have highlighted that with the with the line there so that you can add your personal referral link into the email. And I suggest that you always finish off your emails with, you know, something quite cheery. I use best wishes quite often um, and your name. So that's it. Once you have done that, you will see here that you can tag uh, links. Now, I'm just going to ignore that for now. And it is a pro member um, option as well. So. Um, once I will talk about that in another video, um, then what you want to do is literally just click on save and activate, save changes. My laptop won't save it now because the video, oh, there we go, the video software gets in the way sometimes. So you can see here. It says demo name. So, you know, that's where your um, your subscriber's name is going to show. 
Um, it's not going to say demo name whenever they read it. <laughs> and you can check to see if your email is, um, you know, properly um, uh, like justified and, and set out correctly. So if not, like personally, I would prefer to put in some extra spaces and, and lines there. So I will go in and edit. So to edit it, I just click on where I want um, the spaces to be. You might like to highlight where your link is. So you can do that with the bold here. Oops. Can make that bold again. Um, if you are adding a link, then, sorry about my phone in the background. <laughs> if you're adding a link, let's say that I want to include the link for my Facebook group. If I copy the link across and I'm wanting to put it into here. So I will paste it in like this. I will then highlight that text and click on this little icon that is the link icon. Click on that and you just put the URL into the box again. Click on OK and that's now become a clickable link. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And again, I just need to save changes. My video software would let me do that. There we go. And you can see now that the, the email is looking a lot better. And you can also check the link is actually working as well, which it is. OK, so that's it. Once you now close that and if your if your list is actually activated, then <laughs> I've just noticed there's three copies of the, the latest one there. OK, so if your list is activated, when you get subscribers going on to your um, going on to your email list, they will automatically receive the follow up emails that you have added into this section. Um, if you haven't activated your list yet, you need to fill in the details here and click on save and activate. OK, so I think that's all for today's video. Hopefully you have found that useful and um, do let me know if you have any questions. Take care now. Bye.